Hello everyone, today we have a special croissant color. We will do step by step. You can make it at home, you can make it at work. Very beautiful recipe and very easy steps. And I will tell you all the tracks you can make and how to success from first time. Also, I give you ban chocolate feeling really wonderful chocolate steak. If this first time to watch my channel, I will be happy if you make subscribe and leave comment. Let's start. 140 gram milk, 115 gram water, 125 gram soft butter, 25 gram fresh yeast or 10 gram yeast. 10 gram salt, 50 gram sugar, 5 gram milk powder, 185 gram butter. This for lamination or borage. As you see, all ingredients together. All ingredients together. Make sure that you have milk powder is really very good for any bread. We mix all ingredients. I try to make fast video and to speak about all the steps. As you see, the machine, the, the dough is ready. I, the whole dough is like 900 gram. So I take 200 gram only. I put with red color so you can do green yellow black whatever color you like and when you have the red color ready you just fill it cover with plastic keep it in the fridge so if you want to make big quantity you just double the recipe we keep it in the fridge at least six hours and here is the chocolate steak fantastic 100 gram melted chocolate dark 40 gram praline best 15 gram milk as you see i mix chocolate and praline after that 15 gram of milk it will be like ganache i buy bing any size any shape you want so you can make your own size your own shape and you keep it in the fridge or outside after 10 minutes it will set crystallize so you can cut the shape here we have 185 gram butter 185 gram butter we use bashamont paper is very easy to make sure 15 by 15 centimeter this very easy as you see you can control the, the dough and you can make it exactly square shape I spread the butter all the edges so I have all the same we roll it right and left until we have the size we keep it in the fridge so this after six hours in the fridge or you can keep it the whole night i make it a square shape 30 by 30 and then i fold the butter inside like envelope So very important to keep the dough one day or minimum, minimum six hours in the fridge. Never before that. As you see, I close all edges. It's like envelope. I will keep the uh, in description box. I made the, the blend croissant and you can see 
almost the same recipe but this recipe without eggs the other recipe have only one egg yolk as you see I spread the dough I roll it out to spread the butter inside the dough Here we can paint on one paper 20 by 45 centimeter rectangular shape so that helps you to make the roll very professional wise or you can keep it in plastic film and that helps you also to make it right size so 45 by 20 you can remove and you can make the double fold so the croissant we make three fold first double fold and second is one single fold as you see I cut the edges and all left over dough inside so I make sure that the butter inside the dough equally as you see I must all the time keep the shape square or rectangular now I spread the dough it's too full now it's too full We keep it in the fridge one or two hour. After two hour, the dough is nice resting, so I can make the final fold or lamination. So as you see. I try the same this time I will make it 45 tall and 15 wide so I always try to keep the rectangular shape so the whole paper becomes the same I brush before I make lamination I have to brush from the flower because flower make a distance between the layer so as you see I cut the edges always I put in the middle to be sure our dough is really light and lamination I cover plastic I keep for one or two hour in the fridge now after two hour I take the dough I make it square 25 by 25 I spread light flour then I bring the red dough already over one day in the fridge so it's really soft I can spread it very easily as you see always try to keep rectangular shape here before I I add it to the dough I must remove the flour as you see from the size I wanna stick on the dough so this is very important because flour make distance between the layer I roll it 30 by 30 and uh, I keep in the fridge at least for two hours so as you see croissant is very sensitive every step I must keep in the fridge between one hour to two hours depend about your strongest 
the fridge is strong or not. After two hours I take out, this is the final. I spread the dough. Normally I have to make it like four millimeter high or five millimeter high. Then I make, I cut twelve centimeter to twenty five. This the rectangle, the triangle I make for the croissant. Actually, you will know the size is almost seventy gram. So it's twelve. I try to cut. Now I cut triangle. So this time I can rest this dough like two three minutes before I roll it. And when I roll it, I make sure that. The leftover dough I make, now I make the pan chocolate upside down, then I cut stripes as you see, I put one piece of chocolate, another piece, now I have my own chocolate. As you see I stretch the dough a little bit, so to make sure every time I roll I stretch, the end of the dough I must push to be like glue. I egg wash the dough before improver and after improver it takes about 40 minutes then again as you see after improver I put again egg wash so I double egg wash the dough and as you see bunch chocolate already raised up I I bake with the steam 175 I give like 10 minutes steam, if I don't have steam I put hot water and shaving dish under the dough so it makes fluffy. For 16, 18 minutes and as you see crunchy, beautiful, shiny. Please if this first time to watch my channel I would like you make subscribe and you keep your comment. Thank you for being watching my channel. I will keep the link below the plain croissant and almost the same steps. Sugar Emperor Ahmad Yunus.